mi lo ni o nitori pe bo mo de ba ju bagba yiye ni ye bagba lagba ba si ju ba yiye ni ye o ejo ju mi se leni o osun do sun o gbele arise you may take your leave mo wa yin o eyin ya mi o I see your kind and gentle smile. And it arose from your blessing that you have given us into our land. From the far, far into the distant land. Thank you very much. Those Descendants refrain from it as he Let them feel your anger. Nito you pay and you toba show tenicon, sherry, or do your room tenicon, really. Firstly, they stopped the worship of our twin in this land and they threw me away. Won't permit to be a fork in Coco. Near new, most of you pay a co god or KB a kumo, a young god or KB a yamo. Omo eniyo gbodo fun bi omo eniyo bi kekere se nku ni ka gba se ma ku o asebu And you will know you. I awoke to the shrills of a thousand sounds. The grunts of the spirits who keep watch over my royal head. Muttering cries of entity. Alone, I lay bare. As a job, I wanted to be sacrificed at the altar of Ogun. Yes, Oluawu. Only this time, my hands were tied. But not with a cheap twine. But with the red royal beard in you, I say I lay bed. I was waiting for the axe of the Abore to have my head taken off. Hey, wo, Kabiesi, Toto she be away. He gone, she she. Kole de no dio wo yi. A thousand court classes will never cut not your royal head, Kabiesi. Not as I lay here, Otu. My mouth was gagged. I was breathing faster, and my heart racing to the valley of death. I say I look stretched like elbow. Hmm? I mean, where was Olori Mojisola? I left both of you in the chamber. She was to rub the ointment on her stomach. There she was. Even now, 
so heavy with chow. Ha! Oluawu! Weakened! My spirits failed me! How have you seen? A step! A step? Yes, Oluawu! A step! A chilly step! From Ikus pointed me! By whom have you seen? Death himself! Came down to our people! Even though I was calm! Yes, have you seen? Just to see you! He only came to visit, I am sure! Sorry, I don't want to go to the party! Eti domaru ta won le se you will not die kabiesi but he came would i lie not for you i am sure did you offer him any sacrifice when you are with mm, no but i knew better you knew what better kabiesi that i was the sacrifice eh wo kabiesi you not about that fair gugu eh ye mi la fi sun please kabiesi do not mind oluawo tell us the dream we try to change you, Kabiesi. I like him, Bomoleru. Come on, Lero. Kabiesi. Tell us the dream that frightened you. Abese came to my house this morning. I couldn't hear him well because he was talking in a breathless voice. And I had to prepare myself for the worst. But thanks to the girls, I met you, with Kabiesi. Oh, too? Eh, eh, eh. But oh, God forbid. It caused me a lot to be here and to be worried. Hmm. Thank God we are all gathered here this morning. Kabiesi, this is a better time you can discuss it with us. Kabiesi, talk. Very well. Kabiesi, I beg for you. A cold chilly silence fell. I now really felt alone. My right hand, searching for the waist of Olori. But alas, she was gone. Gone? Gone to where? Slowly. My eyes. Narrowly felt into the cloak of the darkness. I wore nothing but my small white cap, a white dress, and a white wrapper, like I was dressed then. Then I looked onto the table to find my bowl of water, to have a drop of water, just a drop, to quench my senses. How about your usual water bowl? It was empty. You mean empty? But it used to fool. Emptiness. Filled the entire space of my dream. From room to room, I wandered. I walked, looking for people. I did not see anyone. And then I heard a shrill, muffled laughter, a nasal sound from the high pitched. I simply ran away. The sound was so powerful, so powerful that it would even make a king to wet his wrapper. Kabiesi, no, no! The sound came from the Odro Rory. The secret king of the past of us, the ones before me. I simply moved closer. Ah, uh, uh, Kabiesi, you should know better. You shouldn't go there until it is time for you to rest forever. Deserted, fortunes have taken over the sky. My white dress was wrapped in wool, full of cobwebs. I simply moved closer. For Kabiesi, you shouldn't have. With a clenched left fist, I simply broke the door open. And the sacred drapes and the mayu fell to the ground. And beyond, I saw them. Who? Kabiesi. The past kings. The ones before me. I sadly recognized the one I knew. My father, Obade Bingpe, and then me. How can Oku Mbala in Rojo? You shouldn't be there until it is time for you to rest forever. I know what I saw. I saw myself. I saw my own head. Dripping full of blood. My own son of head. My head was cut off by a blood cutlass. It was dripping with blood from the neck. Kabiesi, do not claim the death of his blood cutlass. But I know what I saw. I mean, I saw my head. And it kept saying that he was innocent of the reason why he was killed. Yes, my head, my son of head. Ewo, what did you do? I simply ran out of the palace. To the palace when? And when I got to the well, I met a woman here. I simply asked her for a drink. And then she looked at me. You again? That's what she said. Instead of giving you this water, I would rather do this. And with one swipe, she broke the calabash. On the earth, my mouth was wide open. Oluawu, tell Ajagumale, the oracle of the gods, to come and save me. I shall not be an imbecile. In the land of my fathers. Not I, Obadidiba. Not I. Kabesi, I will. 
Jagunot. Jagunot? Yes, Kabisi. You are the head of the Kingmakers. By the oath of your office, was there any reason why I was not supposed to be crowned king? None, Kabiesi. Your father, Obade Bingpe, the king before you, had 26 daughters and one son. Kabiesi, you were that son. Was Ifa consulted? No need, Kabiesi. You were the only son, Kabiesi. The only heir apparent. No need to consult Ifa's, Kabiesi. And the gods? They were all consulted. Their sacrifices made. Pak Padula, Adaobi, Obisinyo. Obade di gba otiro re yi je na o. Ibo papa iwo no. Ibo papa. Obade di gba lo ti mo ye yi je na o. Ibo papa iwo no. Ibo papa. To baba de bi se se la se. Se ka ma be to le yawo. To ba ti ya yo ye mi na. Awo it is left over to you. Emilao ni yosi, Emilao ni yosi, ba she deori be no lori, Emilao ni yosi, Emilao ni yosi, Emilao ni yosi, ba she deori be no lori, Emilao ni yosi. We all danced and sang to your joyful grin, Kabiesi. If I was assured of a good and long harvest, why then? This swarm of locusts on my farm. Why? Kabiesi, Kabiesi, Kabiesi. Kabiesi, we went to the land of Kondo, as you have said we should. And we were told that if I die, I died three days ago. Ah, Kabiesi. And then we were advised that I should come with if I do be a formidable priest also. Welcome, Balogu. Very well. You say she is highly recommended. Yes, Kabiesi. But her name, Ifa Dumbe. Yes, Kabiesi. Ifa Dumbe. Ifa sweeten the pot of soup of my life. Good. As long as you know that the matter at hand is very serious and not food. Balogun, have you told her everything? Everything, OJ. Kabiesi, I told her everything and she has come fully prepared. Good. Please, speak to the gods. I am anxious to know. You are your own foul ball and your own foul ball. All the mulatum, all the conrosi. I don't point out. Muffin, baby, muffin, big berry, muffle, and the four. I want our woe, you want our woe, a milk berry. Nobody in your view. Wallo Greta. Ha! This is strange. Two heads as one. Tied with a knot of life. <laughs> the harm has been done. We now must appease the one we offend. With what, if I do? With what? Speak. What sacrifices do we make? I must live to be an old man. Speak. You miss your loss. The royal cover shall come and carve your head. Exact shape, nose and all. Once you are two again, you shall leave. This mama is mad. A royal carving of my head? Yes, Kabiesi. What else, mama? A carving of Kabiesi, yes. And nothing else? Nothing, Kabiesi. If I am your bebo, then you will be to two. But we must carry sweet things like sugar cane, honey, adun. Palm oil and sweet beans to the shrine of Orisha Beji. What rubbish does this old fool speak of? Orisha Ibeji came. My village is not at peace. And you tell me about twins. I am not a twin. And we have them in this palace. And keep your mind focused on what Balogun told you to do. Speak, old woman. Yes, Kabies. You must forgive yourself. That I forgive if myself? If you do nothing, you will not leave. Carry the calabash of sweet things to the shrine of Orisha Beji and you shall leave. That I forgive myself? Yes, Kabiesi. If I says, Kill him, boy, and he lay fair. Enu, Enu, lamb, boy, and he lay fair. Enu, Kill him, boy, and he lay fair. Enu, Enu, lamb, boy, and he lay fair. Enu. Then a party to celebrate your life 
shall hold. Abese! Oh, Kabesh! Get this stupid old fool out of my sight! What have I done? Do not turn your back on me. Who dares to wake me up? We dare. An impostor does not become king. A dead king does not rule. A dead king? Impostor? Me? Yes, you. We all saw you with our six eyes. I still do not understand. We do. We three were hot there. We saw you shed like a sacrifice to reawaken the spirit of life. We saw you gasp for life in this fight die. We saw your carcass, though living, walk through the battlefield, dust, drunk, and fallen. We saw your balogu further smitten with the madness of victory. And in a blood sword, we saw him remove your head and dance home to his other foes. Me? I said we saw you. With our six eyes, we all saw you, and we see clearest in the easiest of minds. What are you doing? Spread like the now late headless king in the royal chamber, on the royal bed. Answer, impostor. I remember the night you speak of, as if it was yesterday. It was at Orija, a village before Atiba. My men had fought all day, and were tired, and I too had become tired. The rain did not help either, as they beat my dress and my charms. One day, I laid them out for them to dry, and I heard from my Balogun that the Balogun of Atiba and his men had come to steal my wardress and my charms. I was unprotected. I had to be smuggled out of the battlefield. Remember, mother, it was a very hazy, dark and murky night. Easy not to deceive us. Come on, Obade Digba. We may be women, but we are not fools. We all saw you with our eyes. And we see clearest in the essence of night. We know what souls we took and the shells we left behind. A carcass king. Or. Huh? Ah! Ah! Mother, I smell this it. Come closer. Impostor! Are there two of you? Two of me? I do not understand. Don't pretend not to understand. We are about to win. We lotter them. Don't try to fool us. Cause the secret you tend to hide will choke you. Answer, impostor. Are you a twin? Twin? You all know what would have happened to me. Even at childbirth. What do you mean, mothers? You really don't know. Impostor. Then why did? Why did only Shaibeji try to fool us with two effigies that look like one? Why try to give up one and protect other from us? Or did she? My dear mothers, oh Shuromoniga, owners of the night, how was I supposed to know the way of the goddess? Imposter, sisters, could and should have sought us out? Why we all swore to destroy Obadeliba for his deceit? What have I done that will make all the gods to want to share me as if I was a piece of cloth? You really don't know. I swear to my forefathers, I do not know. I thought I was your favorite son, and I thought you were supposed to protect me before my coronation. But I am still a man of honor. <laughs> honor my foot. I jam it by your law. Than a king who connives with an Orisha to fool doubt. Honor. So, mothers, what will happen to me now? Death again. But this time, it shall be slower until your God cries for you and bleeds blood. Mothers, please! Now you beg again. The same voice you used when you first asked you. You must see us as full or blind imbeciles. Full by treacherous God who lies. We shall get you. Mothers, mothers, see your spirits. Not here, not now. We can still find you at the market square, eating his poise. Hurry before he leaves. Impostor, we shall return soon. 
We need to know what happened. How a king who wronged us and was found guilty, condemned to death and still covered with death to still live. The finger of God must be in this. And when we find out that the gods does not have hand in this, we shall come back in a rage that is fit to roast you alive. Abese! Abese! Oh, Gabiesi! Come here, Luau. At the break of dawn. Hurry! Okay, Gabiesi. Uluawu, they appear. Mothers of the night. Oh, Shuruma nigga. All with twisted dark faces. Demanding to know who I was. What from this dog? Who are you? Eliyama Kulungu Ararebi. Kabiesi, you should have told them that you are over the diva. So no over the pipe. So no over the bango. So no over the pipe. And you think they don't know all that? So what else do they want to know? They came. They all appeared, demanded to know who I was. They accused me of being the king of Ibeko. Me! So what else did they need to know? Abiesi, you should have called me. I would have answered them better. I couldn't find my voice easily. And besides, what do you want to explain? To whom? They all accused Eshu of Dara to have fooled them. And they promised to come back if I am indeed an impostor. Impostor? Exodara. How could this change side so quickly? He asked for an egot. You order that we give him a big big cow. Even the mothers to God theirs. Kabiesi, take heart. I am sure we are beginning to uncover the, the cloak of a Konanos. Kabiesi, we will have to go from the beginning. What do we do, Oluawu? We will have to go to the shrine of Exodara. Ah, hero, me, at the shrine of Eshuadara, after the disgrace that I gave his chief priest, Sarua. No, I cannot go, Oluawu. You will, Kabiesi. Sarua has been to this palace ten times or more. That man is very stubborn and he does not know when to come visit him. Kabiesi, you will go. Kabiesi, you must go. Because we need to save your neck from this news of death. Oluawu, I say I cannot go. Sawa will dance and sing on my return to beg. He could even make me or Bade Diba to go on my knees and beg him. I say I cannot go, Oluawu. I think I know what will happen. Even the great Eshwadara will be deceived this once. You say we shall escape the jeers of the people? Like right, chameleons, Kabiesi. We will dance in colors and shades that suits that of blindness, Kabiesi. The people can only know you if they identify us. Mm. This is what we shall do. Good idea. Oluawu, tonight, when the darkness has become a convenient cloak, we shall do it. Kabiesi, Kabiesi. you pant. Kabiesi, wala ti de, wala ti be. My ears are full, Kabiesi. The whole village is not as peaceful. Women are crying, Kabiesi. Crying? Oluawu, have you heard their cries? Kabiesi, let the Yalu they speak for us here. Yeah? Tori, I know you can't have to go come. Oluawu, you're not going to go. Yalu they speak. Ah, Kabiesi, women die in childbirth. Ah. Children in various twisted shapes are born. Who are born where you are? Instead of joy and happiness, houses cry. Sorrow reigns to pray, Kabiesi. Did you ask Ifa? I did, babe. Why all these ills are befalling the children of the village? I did. What did Ifa say? Hmm. The gods are angry. They are very, very hungry. Sacrifice will be carried to the center of the village in the middle of the night. And before he leave the palace, Kabi Isim was praying for protection of the woman of the village and call his mother's name, Olori Tutubi, and beg her for forgiveness. Is that all? Then the Kabi is going to be mad. Beg only to Abore. Because Omibolo Ipelen. Hurry to him. I shall wait for you to hear. Hurry, woman. I go, Kabiesi. Uh, Let him know I am aware of this. Hurry. Oh, Oluawu, I fear my end may indeed be coming to an end. Ah, Iwo Kabiesi, I think we are beginning to uncover the clove of Avanadio Bakula not. The, the sweetness of your reign will come soon, Kabiesi. Kabiesi, Ha, Olori. You came on time. 
Did you not meet your mother at home? No, Kabiesi. Despite all the messages I sent, they said she left him at the break of the for the farm. Even after I sent her, she refused to return Kabiesi. So I left her right to look for her and return to the palace. You are really tired. Very tired, Kabiesi. Mumarimo. A mad woman I've never met in my life who stays beside my mother's house. She's those up and down the road, begging me to take her to an area baby and give birth to them. She chased you. How about the Abese? Where were they? They were supposed to protect you from her. They did. Hmm. But the madness of this one was full blown. She had the cab baby wrapped in her torn clothes. She was pretending to feed them when we passed by to see my mother. But on our way back, Abese, she jumped up and down, screaming at me. These were my real baby. A blessed gift from her. I should return and pick them up. Then she started to cry, Abese, as we ignored her. And then she ran after us. This was when the chase began, Kabiesi. The chase? Yes, Kabiesi. But I couldn't throw on Kabiesi cash up with me and force me to take the twin. Ah, eh, what? Ah, Uluawu, I was too weak to struggle with her. I hope you gave it to the Abese. To cut into tiny pieces and throw by the string. I don't have the heart, Kabiesi. I wrap up the carvings up like real children. She liked the way I fed them. This made her jingle. Then she made us sing. I Epo umbe, ewa umbe o. Ewo, no. With the song you accept them, Oluri, no. I rocked them until we both pretended they slept off. This was when the Ebese came in with some food stores and we also gave her some money. She stand up, started screaming again. Wait, she screamed. Not her, wait. Wait for your son, Kendi. And your son, Tai, he always goes in pierce, frustrated, but we ignore her. May the gods forbid! Who will take twin children from a mad woman? Twins in this palace. Olori! Go in! Wash up the mad woman's touch! Oluawo, with mad women distributing twins and the village in a sick manner, I feel we must do something. Oluawo, concerning our. Eh, Abese. Yeah, that's one, no? I miss you. Concerning our planned visit to Saura, where did we stop? Yes, Kabies. I was going to suggest that. Mm. No bad you like it. Ah, do loco. Ah, do lola. Of you, good girl, I go. No, 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 Loco, 
Epa mole. Ai wo o kupi. Ai wo. o kupi. On a bégou, 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 on Drive you at this time of the night that you divide the fear of waking my master is Ah ah ah, you won't lock on Lenny. I have old one and children too. One who felt the urge to discard their poor mother and find their father ah, ah, a new wife. He grets all. I am glad and happy you see them for what they are. Mm, but have you told your husband? I have old one. And what's now happened? The children have outgrown fear. You see, Oduma, this is the family matter. And my master is Shulalu. Can't attend to this. We have a very important present matter at hand. All these family matters get too messy. Hey, Harabiri, we have to go to Jalodis Palace. Where women's matters are celebrated. We have to. Yalodeke. Mm -hmm. I thought Eshu Odara was a good friend for all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every year, the people would dance and sing unto his name. Mm -hmm. They would prepare his favorite dish of ekuru and palm oil. Mm -hmm. And then they would chant Eshu Lalu, Naroye, mm -hmm. Narogo, mm -hmm. Akiriboto Okuri, mm -hmm. Alekuru Lega, mm -hmm. Alega Alekuru, ah -ah. Narogo, ah -ah. Naroye. Stop, woman! Ah ah, what's stop? How dare you know the chance of my master, Eshuladu? How? It is only three of us that know this chance. Hi! Obade Diba and the woman who bear the sacrifice to the son of Eshuladu. How? Who are you, woman? Tanya? A woman? Woman? A mother? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah,
that you as Oba, you have conquered Iku itself. So you run here when you discover that your town criers always lie to you. When he says that you as a king, you are Iku itself. So do you know the reason why the friend of my master, Ishulalu, and Iku death will be cast forever? Because my master Ishulalu believe and know that no one, not single, a single one can conquer death. Again, I still do not understand. Mm -hmm. Again? The mothers of the night, Awoyami Aroba Somabali, came to see my master, angry that you fooled them all. And they want your head. And my master was praying with the similar tricks that you did. Instead of a big cow, and you said us a sick chicken instead. I still do not understand. Speak plainly, friend. Ah, uh -uh. you died. Or so we heard it all. How many times does a man die? Ah. Why did you behead the head of Balogo Fatiba? Why? In error. error. I did give the order in error. Error. When I heard that his men had come to steal my wardress, I too sent my men to the land of Atiba to behead the Balogo of Atiba. Hmm. To behead the Balogo of Atiba? Yes. But a strange thing happened before my dream. What? The next day, when I woke up, all my three war generals mm -hmm. were found strangled in their sleep. Ah! All three of them with Akara in their mouths. Ah, ah, ah. How strange indeed. And you say that you never met Balog Matiba in his lifetime? No. Until you heard he was dead? No. In the dream, that was my head. Hmm, I know. So you unwittingly helped the mothers of the night to complete their task. Is that right? You speak to me as a priest. I do not understand. Then you do not know. Know what? Hmm. Enu mi ko lo ti do. Enu awon adalo bi ti do. You will need to ask your grandmother, Akuda. From there, you will know everything about your lifestyle. Ye ye Akuda is dead. What does she know? Speak. Kabesi. I have told you what to do. When you get there, ask her about everything or anything you need to know about your life and then you will understand better nothing more i swear Oluawo, the matter is in your hands now we have heard you Saura. may the gods help us Ashe. i heard it all Ah, Emma Damike, Idawo la won yami, Osoro Moninga, now became an eavesdropper that listened to what is happening behind the wall. I came to see your master. We need to know what happened. The mothers are hungry. Mm -hmm. I feel your anger. That is why you call my master by name. We promised to have his souls after the rain. Did we not? Mm, you did. But you failed my master. We did. Mm -hmm. After all your promises of a sacrifice of a cow to each of us and your master, Eshwadara, mm -hmm. we got a second chicken tied to the tree when we got there. Obviously, you got a fat cow. That was I have the confidence to come into your shrine. Mm -hmm. We too. We got a sick chicken instead of a big cow. My master sneezed all days. And he was very angry. He said, he killed a thousand chickens and a thousand goats in the town. We did not ask him. We can carry our load ourselves, no matter how heavy it is. I had to beg Gorumila to calm him down. Then why help him? Why send him to his mother's spirit? What do you want to know? Why clear the pathway for him? Did we help him? No. I only sent him there so that he can find the moving nose who will end his life this time. My master was very disappointed with you, Yeye. 
for you to kill just a common man. Ah uh ah. -uh. A common man, did you say? Mm -hmm. Who are you? How dare you? Sarah, I thought you said this place was safe for us to do. Mm -hmm. No place is safe for you anymore, Ikati. Ah uh ah -uh ah. -uh. For the life you took, you committed a taboo, a walk a bit, a bit. How dare you? She calls my name. Is it a trick for me? You have offended the goddess. You took the sacred son. Your goddess? Yes, my goddess. You took the precious one to her. And now, she will clip your wings, roast you all like a forbidden bird, mm -hmm. and throw you in the darkest part of the hell. Uh -uh. Who are you? Shut up, old man. Uh -uh. Sarah, get your master. I will come back and we will talk later. Soon, Sarah. Soon. When a mad woman begins to talk like a woman, the whole village is now sick. Hurry, your mothers. Hurry. Iba, oh, Iba. Iba, oh, Leo. Iba, oh, Leo, are you maso? Iba, Dabai. Iba, Dabai. Iba, oh, Tati, Daki, Toda. Iba, Le, Dumare. Iba, Batala, Batasa. Iba, Le, Yami, Osho, Romaniga. Iba, Le, Yami, Ole, Yitu, Ege. Si, Bati, Ya, Pani, Ma, Yoda. Ati, No, 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 Jefu. Osho, No, Shala, Osho, No, 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 Osho, I wrote back from Abale. I have come to ask you to grant me access to see a Yakuda. A Yakuda? Tiba Pe, for Germany or Temio, Toripe, Tiabapo, Nipopo, Ara, you need down. Akuda! Who wakes me from the slumber of death? A cowboy, Yakuda. He is the Kabir Sadiba, the king of. I don't know him. Is he here? Yes, he is a Yakuda. Where is he? My eyes fail me. Or does he send a basket of troubled souls through the mouth of an Ilari? Ah, Ilari Kayeye. It is me, Oluawo, head of the Yao court, the one on earth that is closer to the spirit of the world. He has sent me to awaken you, Mama. This king of yours, has he no mouth of his own? Yes, he does, Mama. Please kindly turn a bit. He is right behind you. Come Be still. He appears familiar. Hmm. A distant face. But his blood smells like mine. It reminds me of when blood still runs down my vein. That I still have a life in me. Oh, I must have slept for too long. I forgot faces now, and my eyes blow. You say he summoned you to call me. Does he know me? Yes. Queen Mother Akuda Shukula Desho, an old woman who knows the name of death. Father Era Akuda Odidi, Obirinla, Obiribi Okunri, Ijile Okpo, the woman who lived in the deep red sea. A woman indeed. You know me. What does the Kabi Etsi want from me? He wants... See, he has a voice of his own. Does it he? Let him speak. Very well then. Kabi Etsi. Be brief though. I am back on a long trip soon. And I need all my strength for it. Be brief, King. Life. Hmm? I want to live. You hear Kuda? <laughs> you come to the wrong person, child. How can you ask for that? I am but a lifeless living carcass of once pleased live spirits. In short, I am dead, lifeless, and a ghost. Eh? I was said to you. He said only you could give it to me. Give you what? Lift your tongue and speak, child. I don't have all day. Go straight to the issue, child. Life. Nonsense. Utter nonsense. Who said this rubbish and sent you to me? A king? Sarah. The servant of. I know who he serves. What a world this is turning out to be. What a world that even a god can no longer keep its word. We had a fact. Eshu and I. So 
work to keep our lips sealed for life. For life. But I must have been a fool to trust him. A gullible woman and a tricky king is a perfect match for this hit. Hmm. I should have known when the beautiful goddess like Orishaibeji confronted him. Orishaibeji, Yes, Orishaibeji. My daughter, Titubi, had made a lot of offering at her shrine during her nine months pregnant. Orishai bade you, taken by her dedication, forgetting that Titumbi was an Olori in the palace. The goddess of twins blessed her womb with two sons. Hmm. I was unaware of what had taken place, but Orishai bade was angered by my machination to avert the sad edge of the law of the land. She swore to avenge my separation of her double gift by making me drown in the ripples of my motherly kindness. I hear she left a course in the palace. A course, Yeye? Is your wife pregnant? Yes. The people have started to jail. And even now, the pregnancy is in its 13th month. Hmm. The strange woman again. Hmm? What Not did you say, Yeye? Nothing. Hurry after this meeting. Go and meet her. Hmm. With me being punished with death, and you dragged to a clownish level in the village, Urshaibeji may take pity on you and forgive you soon. I pray so, Ye Ye. Believe me, I did what I did to save your life. I swear, before everything happened, I extracted a renewal of oath with Ilaria Koji. Ilaria Koji Alashiri Oba. Remember you promised to keep the secret and you have sworn you have sworn to keep the secret of the KBSE and now me. Hmm. Don't deceive me. Don't deceive me, Larry. If it is so that I saw me, you will be able to do it. It's your banil. It's your baloko. Larry, you don't May my tongue not break this oath. Ashe. May my heart remain bond. Ashe. <laughs> I stand by my hold to the robber okay. and I transfer my hold to you to the death. <laughs> Take it. Sweat. That you cannot do. I heard you are once a slave before you come here now. Yes, I was, but she did not teach me this. Teach you what? How to refuse to accept what I feel. Ah, I don't understand. Ye -ye, eh? I cannot feel one child. Ah, the old hey. stomach is full of pain. <laughs> Shut your rotting mouth, oh Jare. Ah, but I know what I feel. A walk. It cannot be. It is forbidden in the palace to feel more than one head in the stomach of an old lady. They will kill them both, remember? Eh? Wait! Ah. After I first killed the both of you, ah. eh? Stop chanting and face the birth of my grandchild. Did you think it is easy? If Anjana already told me that it will be difficult, it is a prince, remember? <laughs> in. Go and call the Hilary. He is outside. Go and call him for All me. Right. Now, tell me, how do your old midwife teach you how to deliver? 
Ye Ye, she used to turn the child with a chant and um, break into a song. Then the child would come out dancing with its head glided out. But this one's Ye Ye, I fear so I dare not think. Hey, don't! Phew! Guy, even Kajo, but don't think, child. Separate this baby from my child. You remember what, what the old seer says? That the longer the water is in the pot, the possibilities of the calabash breaking and, and releasing its content. I worry, mother. Tell me, Ye Ye, why are twins not born in the palace in this village? They kill them. Kill them? But in my mother's village, Atiba, we worship them. But why? Some stupid stories about a set of twins that fought because of the crown and uh -huh. killed almost half of the village. It was then that the elders of the land declare that any set of twins born in the palace must be beheaded. Uh -huh. Is that a reasonable way to solve the problem? <laughs> but the gods will have their way today. The Olori is pregnant with a set of twins. I am sure you know that, Ye Ye. Yes. <laughs> Wait, Ye Ye, was that why you did not invite uh, Ye Ye Oshu to come and help with the delivery? Ben, mm. And they said you are the only one that can deliver. Mm. That can deliver them. I shall pay you well, eh? Ah. Ye Ye, I will do it. I am sure I can do it. I will set you free. I would ask Hilary to take you to your village, Itakumosa, and I will set you free forever. Eh, Tade? Do it, Tade, and bring my child the freedom she deserves. And free her from these boys that worries her so. I shall reward you, Tade, eh? Do Yes, Olori. But I need a new. Ah, you don't need that. What can she do that I cannot do? Leave her alone. Leave her. She might be late. Tell me what to do. Come here, ah. yeah. All that likes family. Do not lose your grip. Hold that tight. Olori, push. Push, Olori. I held that, urging my daughter to push. I was ready for her death. All I wanted were my grandchildren. Grandchildren? Why? Push, Kabiesi. Let her talk, please. Tade delivered the twins. And my daughter, Olori, gave up the ghost. I called Ilari Akoji to take Tade out to bury them both. The two of them? Inyo and Tade to keep the secret sealed. Yeah. I had them killed. But, Ye Ye, Ushkabesi, please let us speak. My heart reached out for the both innocent souls. But I left one. The one who looked more like their father. The second I took with my Ilari. We left for my mother's village, Atiba. So now that you have heard the truth, why do you disturb my slumber? Hurry, I return soon. Return? Ye ye? To the world of the living, I have asked to be deaf and dumb this time. All I want is to be a man. A man? But as a woman, you rose to become a myth. Abijawara, they call you. Obiribi Okuri. Jagaduga Akudaeje. Tim Paini Omokuri Leku. Still, if only they knew the pains I took to hand that chance. If only they knew how many taboos I broke to become a man. No, not again. I have asked Olodumari for a destiny of silence on my second coming. But. But. Ye Ye, speak! I want you to help me with a favor. What favor, Ye Ye? Bury my last body so that I can rest and then I can get a new one before I am allowed to return to the head. Where is your body, Ye Ye? The whole of Atiba searched for you. Even when our soldiers plundered Atiba, we were told that the only way we can save Kabiesi's neck from this death was to find your body. The bottle of the well in your palace, where I was asked to be thrown. Urged on by a strange woman, she had told him to do that to acquire more power. A strange woman? He killed you just to acquire more power? Yes. Power was his weakness. The strange woman came from nowhere. Immediately my son set his eyes on her. She took my place. He did anything she wanted. She ate me on sight too. I could feel it. Ye Ye, who am I? Taiwo or Kendi? And besides, 
What happened to the Hilary? I killed him. Oh. I needed a lamb for sacrifice, for the protection of both of you. I told him, and he gave up himself, as it was his duty. As for you, come closer. You are Kende? Huh? By the gods, you should not have been king. You were born to be second only to your brother, Taye Lulu. E jirei jololo. No wonder. What? He tried too hard to prove himself. And even when I thought he had enough power to take on the world, he used me as a sacrifice. Sacrifice, Yeye? A pinch, he said. Just enough to take little of my blood. How was I to know that he needed all my blood? I watched him drain all my blood, every drop of it. And as I died, I caused him to a painful force, death. Even as the strange woman stood by him, jeering. Pray, how did my son die? Just the way you caused him, Yeye. My Balogu, who now swear he never did it? Ask someone to take on this person against the wish of my common sense. I attacked Atiba. Another person took on his body. Yes, he swore he was asleep on the night. But overcome by his powers of his trickery, I attacked Atiba. A war. By the gods, that was why my Larry gave up his life. No one was to wage war against the people of Atiba. As long as I, I or my son live in it, Eshula Lu was my witness. How was I to know? We captured the Balogo of Atiba. Kabiesi, no. Drunk again, I'm urged on by the evil spirits and his trickery. I simply asked for the beheadment of the Balogo of Atiba. You should not have done that, son. How was I to know that the little corner fire that I started would then come back to burn my heart. Ow! No. You should not have lit the fire at all. You killed yourself. Too late, mother. It is only now that I understand. Ha! No wonder. What, Kabiesi? That thing. As they are beheading the Balogo Matiba, I too was in pain. All oh, the cuts rounded his neck like a round chain. I could feel it as well. See, Ye Ye. See. Ha! Huh. That is it. Death wants you. The strange woman wants you. In killing your twin brother, you snapped the sacred cord that binds twins together. You tore everything, child. Everything. How can you help me, Ye Ye? I do not want to die. I have no one to sit on my throne. After I have joined my ancestors, how can you help me, grandmother? You say you saw your head cut off speak with you? Yes, but I swear, I never said anything to it. I swear. Did you have to say a word to death? Was the calabash not already broken and the water not already poured? Here. Take a glorious gift. This may help you. No, Kabiesi. Did you forget what Sarah said? Oh, no, I will. Has Sarah not done enough harm already? Ah, yeah, yeah. No, Kabiesi. I am grateful. Take it from me, son. Tie it round your waist. It may ease your passage. And now, your promise of helping me sleep easier. A befitting bearer, fit for only a queen, shall be given to you. I swear. Ush, Oluawu. It is only a promise for a gift from my grandmother. Now your life is welcome. I smell it already, but do not rush to bury me yet. The spirit of the strange woman still looms. I think she lets me die by my cursed son because I separated you and your brother. When all these are forgiven and forgotten, build me a befitting shrine by the well, but let my body remain here. The cool freshness of the water 
Keep the tan of my skin. Do not worry. We shall meet very soon. Now go, son. Why did my head announce my death in the sacred room of the Obas? Why? If the Oba is not happy, the village cannot be another reason for this bad omen. Hmm. My lord. If the Oba dies, no heir has yet been born. And the lineage of Oba ends. You see why I hope? If I jano, why I hope aimlessly, like a frog. In broad daylight, I have a thousand reasons to go. But for now, I hope aimless, grasping into the jaws of a crocodile, to die. Hmm. Talk to Ifa, wise one. Ifa Jano, help us consult Ifa. Let's know what is happening. Our king is very much vital to us. That is why the villagers insisted in making it as a sacrifice. Talk to Ifa. If I look was or die, you go back to Gigelen. You will go to Girinta. In twos, I shall find myself or Gali Gali. The horse rider gallows. In twos, I shall announce myself. Jaguno. When the Oba chose this calabash of name, how many Kulano did he choose? It was a marvel. Such a mistake had never happened before. In the calabash, it was meant to be 20. We found only two. Hmm. So, you should have called him Hadedeji, according to the calabash which he chose. Yes, but that would have meant that he was a twin. A taboo in the palace. The abode would have been invited to cut off his head at the shrine of Ogun. And besides, no one knows he was a twin. We all thought he's just a male child. We all blamed it on the woman who helped us to wash the cola nuts. Besides, we named him Obade Diba, which means that was the calabash he opened. Who holds the key to the heart of man, Obiri? Favored and blessed by the grace of Olodumare, women. Who hold the key to the heart of man? Kabi Esi. Who is Olori Mudisola? My wife. Should I call her? Does she have a hand in this matter? No, Kabi Esi. I see her. She's pregnant. Yes. Will anything happen to her? The future of my living. Is she well? Yes, yes Kabi Esi. I see the solution of her problem lies with her. Ha! No! Not my child, not my son. Kabiesi, let him speak. I see you are a very powerful king. Nothing frightens you, Kabiesi. Yes, Baba. Except dying. I don't want to die. And I don't want my child to die either. Can you help me? No, Kabiesi. Then Oluawo, why is he before me? We hear is very good and truthful. We have told him nothing. Let him save us from this. Then go on then. Crown yourself, old man. Speak! Your father, your highness. Ifa says, he caused all the problem that happens to you. Do you hear this old man and his wrong accusation? My father never had a hand here. Let the poor man rest in peace. I said I saw my head, announcing my death to me, and not my father. Bad omen, Fabiesi. Oh, Lord of Mary, be praised. You already said, that you cannot help me avert my impending death. But if I insist, Kabiesi, it is your father we should ask. Let me show you. The Abba Fem Oluju Arino Oyela. Ye ye. I'm happy that you have received us. Orisha Beji, welcome you. Kabiesi. This is my wife, Olu Itisubi, and my mother in law, Ye Oh, a great woman from Matiba. Urisha Beji, welcome you too. Thank you for receiving us. I greet the great Urisha Beji, the one that gives in twos, the one that favors with thousand smiles. Yeah, yeah. This is a 
little gift from us to you. I am so grateful. What did you want from Orisha Ibeji? A small favor from Orisha Ibeji for the royal household. Hmm. I don't understand. Forgive me, Yeye. I am the king of this great land, Ibeko. I have 25 daughters, not even a son or an heir that would inherit my throne when I reach my ancestors. So now, tell me what you actually want from Orisha uh, Ibeji. A favor. Favor? A favor. What kind of favor? I want you to turn my female unborn child to a male unborn child. This is a great task. But we need a show that our consent. A war! Ah ah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I have gone this far. I cannot go back now. If a show that I want my head, please let him have it. If he wants my head, let him also pull it out. But I must see my soul. Yeah, yeah, do it for us. Thank you, great woman. Hmm. I understand and I can feel her pain. No problem. Your request shall be granted. You shall leave your wife and go home for the ritual to be carried out this evening. And we we'll need a he goat and some money to buy few things for the ritual. And that's all. Your father sent a cow, double of everything Oishai Beji requested for. Happy with him, Oishai Beji. Bless your mother with whom? With a set of twins. But the Oishai Beji said that the twins were never to be separated. Who is Akuda Kabiesi? My grandmother. She separated the twins. I know. Oishai Beji punished her with a slow death. But must not be buried. Ha! She will return soon. When she returns, return her to the shrine of Orishai Beji, where she will grow to serve her as an acolyte. My life! How do I get it back? Like my late father, I have no hair. I must have one. I must see my son. You will. When your son is born, your life will be returned, Kabiesi. Your son is your brother, Tayo A basket full of sweet things, all the things the mouth eats, all in praise of the glory of gift of great goddess, gift of Olodumare. Ha. Hmm. Even as we speak, Oba, Orisha Ibeji smiles on your fortune, Kabiesi. Soon, another set of gifts arrive for you, Kabiesi. Soon, Kabiesi. Wait, if I don't know. Don't go yet. Or are you good or should you? Re? Wait. Please wait. Can I speak now? Yes, midwife of the palace. What is the matter? Your face seems short. Speak, woman. Fish, my lord. A big fat forbidden fish. Speak, woman. My ears born to receive the delivery of my child. But first, is my wife alive? Barely. She stands at the crossroad between the life and death. She to ask after you, Kabiesi. No, Kabiesi. No, Kabiesi. You must not see them yet. Oluawo. Take this. Hurry up. Hello, Ray. So much is your tune, Hurry up. Jisola had a set of twins. Ha! A wolf! Not me! Why? Why not you, Kabiesi? The rift between you and Orishai Beshji is now over. With the birth of the twins, the process of healing has started. Now, she begins to forgive you. Tell Kabiesi more about what happened. Yeah, speak. There is one of the twins, the son. He is loud and noisy. His tears drop, thick and salty. His limbs tired, as if he wants to struggle to return to this world. He would not keep quiet until he snuggles his mother's breasts. 
and the female? Quiet and mute. Our eyes are permanently shut. As it is with the custom, Kabiesin. Abore. Supposed to be here them one after the other at the shrine of Ogun. Never! Not my children! Never! I have even summoned the Abore. All I need is your nod, Kabiesin. Please give it. May the God blind whoever lays the hand on my children. Bring them to me, woman. Kabiesi, she is steady now. Her breath is normal now. The charm work like magic. Oshe Ifajano, thank you. I will rein I will ning ba oni ba o. To react a wo bag ba oni ba o. I will ate. I will ya. Pere pere. Oshe, I will rein ya. The goddess has won. Let it be. The people of Ibeko has come to realize your greatness. For this reason, they have come. One waloba loba, one wa nijoye nijoye, and we shall celebrate today. Eko umbe wa umbe o. Eko umbe wa umbe o. Eko umbe wa umbe o. I am are great gifts. Last year, Nilo, a poor market be a poor. A young market be a yellow. How many young man found your money? I go not want a boss. Emily, Emily, everybody is welcome here today. And you mean, kindly give her a wrapper to cover her body. Hmm. I feel it. And you mean, I'm not going to read this so long, Bala. So now, we shall dance to front of the palace, sing for joy. Epo umbe wa umbe o. Epo umbe wa umbe o. I greet you. The chiefs, I greet you. Kabiasi, may you live long on the thrones of your fathers. Muso, 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 Muso! Muso! Muso, Muso, Muso! Muso! Muso!
We are all here for a purpose. Yes. Yes, sir. Ah. As the only two. I will use this medium to introduce to us the number one citizen of this community. In the in the person of the ever sagacious. Ever dynamic. The promising king. Oh, my baby, bye. I put you all, children of the land of Ibeko. Allow me this medium to type the gods. Olodumaru. Shongo Olukosu. Oh, go on the All of them. And I also want to thank my ever beautiful Oh Lori Mojisola. And also the chiefs Otu Jaguno Iyalo De and the head of Yahweh God, Oluawo himself. My heart is filled with joy today. Do you all know why we are all here? Because Olori Mojisola has delivered onto the throne hey. a hair apparent. Hey. So let us sing, let us dance, and let us marry in this moment of joy. Olori Otu, over to you. Hey. 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 The authority has been sent from the king, hey. and no one dares to discard it. Hey. What's in the garden? Come, 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 come,